the apostolic and the prophetic dimension. The offices of prophet and apostles are the two offices in the New Testament that speak as the oracles of God. The prophet's office, of course, existed in the Old Testament. We normally associate the apostle with the Old Testament patriarchs or the prophets. And the truth is that these offices have not been done away with, as some have erroneously presumed, because Ephesians 2 verse 20 says that the church is built upon the foundation of the prophets and apostles. If these two offices were no longer relevant in the New Testament dispensation, Paul would not have told us that the church is built upon the foundation of the prophets and apostles. So it's very important that I'm even look for apostolic and prophetic. Old Testament is built by prophets. The foundation of the New Testament is built by apostles. Apostle Paul is making this connect because we need to bring back the apostolic and the prophetic into today's church. Now Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 to 13, you may look at some apostle Paul talk about and he gave them gifts. Five offices, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. Now, Jesus gave all five offices until as all come in the unity of the faith and maturity. For so long you may got pastors, evangelists, you may got teachers, <laughs> but no got prophets and no got apostles so that church you know, come from the level of maturity. You may still you may have a struggle stop. You may still work with talk them life and mad. You may still work with talk them walk past way at the walk. You must get fit to stop into the slow office. Or maybe bless you know too much because you got garden you may have taken a stop. But town here, yeah, and no got garden and no got taken a hitting him. You need the money to survive so. Talk to him to plant your pastor or town and Muslim. Walk past way on the at the walk so you know you have a pastor. But these are all lies from the pit of hell. Why? Because they are not, they haven't grown into maturity to understand certain dimensions and levels in God where you can, you can live the life that God has destined you and I to live. So, the problem is that all time, the moment I stepped out of work, I was angry all the time. I was struggle. I was true, true, now I was struggle. one of So, God is taking all of us to the dimension. Yes. How about maturity? No. The foundational office of prophet and apostles are still with us. God has been restoring them to understanding more completely since the decades of 1990s. Once we come to understand the scope of these two offices and how they function correctly in the church, many of the problems the devil has brought upon us will no longer work. Example, church splits or doctrinal errors. Today there are a lot of doctrinal errors and threaters that brings confusion among the church. Now, all man kissing one one little revelation don't know start to come up in church. The summer to me, but John one one, me, but John one fourteen. You missed that one. I know, kind of church, kind of ministry come up. Now, me to talking about us, me not a starting ministry, but not a starting ministry because talking me like you start independent and penetrate through law mindset normal. Amen. And most of them ask me story, you mean, eh? And spiritual papa talk us about starting ministry, me talk, this is not in my mind. Second time I'm talking, we talk, no, that's not in my mind. Third time I'm talking, we talk, because I was God talking, I come up with our God talk. And God will fund everything. Today, God has been true to His word and He's funding everything. When we study the New Testament, especially Acts, we see that the apostles and prophets were the two officers who spoke as the oracles of God. Notice in particular that Acts, remember, started Acts chapter 15. So they become the oracles, the voice of God. When Apostle Paul and Barnabas went up to Jerusalem in response to a doctrinal error, the apostles and elders at Jerusalem sent two prophets, Judas and Silas, back with them to the church at Antioch. When we look closer or closely, we will often find that apostles and prophets working together in